Yes, as you can tell by today's title, I am doing an updated majorette stretch routine. Mm -mm. The last time I did a major red stretch routine was like a year ago, almost two years ago. They they got a pretty good amount of views. Also, if you wanna go check that out, I'm gonna leave that in the link down below in the description box and in the iCard. Um, wow, I'm really excited because y'all don't understand. I haven't announced this yet, but I'm gonna start back my major red series where I start back doing tutorials on how to do splits, tricks, stunts, major red stand routines. A lot of major red videos just gonna go on over the entire summer. So make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all like this video, make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so you know when I upload the next major red video. And let's get into this YouTube video. So first what we're gonna do is touch our toes and stretch both of our legs and like stretch the muscles of our hamstrings for 30 seconds. This is just to really help your legs get prepped for any other stretching that comes after and it helps get flexibility in your splits. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna go on to Releve. This is just to help you get a deeper stretch in both of your legs and your hamstrings. And also it stretches the back of your calves and everything back there. So just go on Releve and hold that for 30 seconds as well. Next, you're gonna go into releve of each foot. So basically lift the right or your left leg and hold that for 30 seconds and then lift the left leg for, and hold that for 30 seconds. So basically you're just operating back and forth with both of your right and left leg. Go on to releve and it gives a deeper stretch in the opposite leg. Next, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna rock side to side, left to right, and we're gonna stretch our upper body and hold this for like 30 seconds, left and right side. Next, this stretch here is just gonna help you prepare and build core strength in your legs. And it's gonna challenge you to struggle and like shake a little bit, but this stretch help you basically build strength into holding any other stretch that hurts. So basically, when you hold this stretch, it's gonna feel uncomfortable, just like almost any other stretch, but it's gonna make you get used to wanting to get flexible. So you're gonna hold that painful stretch that you might have to do from doing stuff like this. Next, we're gonna do some, um, after this stretch, we're gonna do some arm stretches, you know, some arm rotations and a little bit of arm stretching left and right, nothing too, nothing too crazy.
Next, we're gonna do the basic easy stretch that everyone know of, the left, right, and middle stretch of touching your toes. This is gonna help you guys get more flexibility in your hamstrings as well, so make sure you guys are holding this for at least 30 seconds to a minute if you wanna get a good stretch for whatever you're about to do. Also, we're gonna do a squat in sitting position. This is gonna help you stretch your middle area and your hamstrings at the bottom of your glutes. This is for anyone who does middle splits or if anyone who wants to extend their leg holes of left and right, this is gonna help and it feels really good, honestly. Also, take your elbows and push them into in the inner corners of your, um, your knees and push your knees outwards more to feel a deeper stretch. Next, we're gonna do a lunge for left and right on hold these for 30 seconds or more, guys. These stretches will help you definitely get into your splits. These stretches are really good for a left and right split, so make sure y'all are holding your um, lunges for at least 30 seconds to two minutes. Next, you're gonna put your knee flat on the ground as also as your foot, point your toe for a deeper stretch and this is also gonna help you get a more deeper stretch in the hamstring area. So go into your elbows as well and hold that for 30 seconds each. And you're gonna do everything the exact same way on the left side. Next, you're gonna get up and you're gonna go back onto your back left knee and point your toe and extend your right leg and touch your toes. This is gonna help you basically do like a leg hold for your right leg or if you're doing it on the left side for your left leg. This stretch is really good for leg extension. Hold this for 30 seconds to two minutes long. Now you're going to go back into your butt and do the same thing that you was doing when you was on your knee and just sit and do the exact same thing for a more deeper stretch. As I mentioned previously, you're gonna do everything that we just did on the right side on the left side. Remember to hold every stretch for 30 seconds to a minute long. Even if it hurts, just hold it. It's gonna benefit you, I promise.
Next, you're gonna get into the position of switching from side to side, and this stretch here is gonna help you stretch the underneath part of your hamstring on your left and right side. So basically, you squat over on one leg and point the other foot for the deepest stretch possible. Make sure you catch your balance and hold this for 30 seconds to a minute long on left and right side. Next, you're gonna do something simple now. Just breathe, relax, raise your arms, and touch both of your toes. You can either flex or point and hold this for 30 seconds to a minute long. Y'all, I was mad ashy in this video. I just noticed that because I had showered before I filmed, but whatever. Um, now you're going to do the simplest, easiest thing, the sitting your straddle stretch. You're going to go left to right. First, you're going to um, touch your knee. So put your nose to your kneecap and hold that for 30 seconds. And then you're going to do the original stretch of the straddle stretch for 30 seconds on both sides. And then you're going to sit in the middle area. So make sure you really are sitting, trying to go far as possible in your left and your right and in your middle area the most because that's where it's going to help you get your splits and your leg holds. Now you're gonna go into the butterfly stretch and just flap your legs for like 30 seconds to a minute like I said before. <laughs> just flap and really try to push down on both sides to like basically unlock your middle area. Now this next stretch is kind of like um, one of the drag waist death, death drop positions you land in. I know you guys seen this move before if you're a major dancer. You're just gonna get into this position on left side and right side and hold it. The goal is to try to keep your knee touching the ground for a deeper stretch in your thighs, but just hold this position and lay down for like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, of course, and do this to on both each side. Now guys, bear with me because I did forget the name of some of these stretches. So basically just get into this position that you see that I'm in and do this on both sides, of course. But when you do this, make sure you 
lay flat down and stretch extend your body as far as you can go point your toe and this is gonna make you feel a stretch from your fingertips all the way down to the toe Now, after you finish all of those stretches, you should be able to at least go into your split. If you can't do your left split or whichever split that you can do, or if you can't do the splits in general, just try to go as far down as possible as you can and hold it and hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. It may hurt. I know it's gonna hurt. Even though I'm in my split right now, it's really hurting. Like it's still gonna hurt because I'm still not fully stretched. This stretch, will, getting into your split like this would help me get rid of my pain for stretching but if you don't have your splits just go ahead and go as far down as possible as you can into it without trying to damage your brain i'm sorry without trying to damage your muscles just go down as far as possible as you can As a major red dancer, having a middle split is a really good benefit. So me, I don't have my middle split all the way, of course, but I'm working on it. I'm doing these stretches every day to try to get my middle split. But go down as far as you can in your middle area as well. Still, if you want to, even if you don't have a middle split, this will help you do your left and right um, leg holds, your heel stretches, your toe touches, and your depth drops are gonna look way better when your legs go back. So try to hold this as far as you can go. I can't go down as far. Um, kudos to the ones who have their middle splits. I'm coming for you, period. <laughs> Now you're gonna do some back stretches. Just arch and then come back down into that position. Do this about 10 times. This is just to prep your back for anything, for like back bends, layouts, back handsprings, anything dealing with your back. Now this is the next back stretch. You're gonna lay flat onto your middle area and push up with your arms and you're just gonna lean back as far as you can go and tilt your head to the back. This is gonna help you stretch your back. You're gonna do this like maybe for like two minutes. Next, you're gonna come up and you're gonna go into the arch position. This is just to stretch the top part of your back and you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds to a minute. Y'all, if the audio sounds weird, it's because I'm outside. But next, you're gonna just take your leg, you're gonna lay flat on your back, take your leg as far as it can go and pull it towards your face. 
You don't have to pull it all the way back to your head like mine's is. Just pull it back as far as you can go and hold that for like 30 seconds to a minute. And you're gonna do the same exact same thing on the right side. Now, after you've done all of those stretches, like every single one that we just went through, you should be able to get into your splits or do something like flexible wise, like do something, show your flexibility skills off. You should be able to do any of that literally after doing those stretches. If not, keep doing those stretches every day for 30 minutes. Keep stretching, guys. Don't get discouraged. You're not going to get flexibility in one day. Just keep practicing, guys. You got to keep the momentum. You have to stay true to it. You have to stay motivated and dedicated and determined. This is the only way you're going to get signs of flexibility because I was not always flexible. I had to get to this by doing stretches. So don't be discouraged. All right, you guys, that is the end of my YouTube video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, basically, these stretches is what I do every day before I do any dance routine, major wise. Anytime I'm at practice, I've been doing these same stretch routines for like about two years since I started this channel. Um, and it's helped me get my both of my splits, my back bends, my toe touches look really great. My depth drops look really good. My legs go far back a little bit, good enough to where it looks cute when you do a high depth drop or a low depth drop. Um, these stretches just to help you prepare yourself for anything like tryout, stand battle, field show, or solo, or captain's battle, anything. I'm pretty sure if you do these stretches every day that you will show, it will show you results quick, like flexibility results. To do these stretches every day, you cannot, you have to stretch every day, guys. You have to stretch every single day for at least 30 minutes a day. Stretch every morning before you wake up. I mean, when you wake up, I'm sorry. Stretch before you go to bed. Also, just stretch in general as much as you can throughout the week because that's a, that is when you're gonna see results. So you have to stretch consistently if you wanna see results. If you can't do a split, do these stretches close enough to where you can do a split. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna feel pain, it's gonna feel tight. You have to sit through the pain, you have to push, and you have to think, and you have to want it. You have to want that flexibility. So go ahead and do these stretches every day, and let me know down below if they work for you. Comment down below um, if you like my stretches, and comment down below some more major red ideas videos. But as I said earlier, that concludes the video. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up, turn on that post notification bell so you are notified when I post. But make sure y'all are hitting that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow the family, get us to 10K. I think we can do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please. Um, thank you so much. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next YouTube video.